Hello there, I'm Lloyd Evans, and today I'm going to be listening to another one of your voicemails. Today's voicemail is from a viewer named Max. Let's listen to what Max has to say. Hey Lloyd, uh, my name is Max. Uh, I live in the United States, and I, uh, I left Jehovah's Witnesses. I disassociated in February 2022. Um... And I, ever since then, I've had, like, this negativity in my life, it feels. Like, I feel so upset and angry, and I feel like I get angry at things quick. I don't know why. Um, I, sometimes I feel so angry at, at the Jehovah's Witnesses. I feel like time was stolen from me. Um, and I'm sure other people have felt that way. I know other people have. But if you know any resources that can help with that, or you've heard of anything that brings you peace, I, you know, anything would be great. Because whatever you could share would be so valuable, not only to me, but to other people that could feel this way. Because um, I know I made the right choice, but it's just, it's like, wow, wow. Like, I just want them out of my mind. I just want it out of my life but i know that's kind of unrealistic but um yeah i thank you for all your videos lloyd you you really make an impact on a lot of people um i like watching your videos they're really relatable to me uh growing up as a jehovah's witness so if you know of any resources or any people that have been through this feeling um i'd love to hear from you you can post this on your channel uh, i'd love to hear the feedback. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Well, thank you, Max. And as with many of the voicemails I receive, I'm sure my viewers or many of my viewers will be able to relate to what you've expressed there. I know I can relate. I think almost anyone who has devoted any significant amount of time to an abusive cult feels extreme resentment and even anger when it comes to what was taken from them. And you specifically refer to time. You said time was stolen from me. Now, before I proceed further, I need to do what I always do in these videos because you did specifically ask what resources are available. And I'm afraid this isn't just a simple case of, oh, go to this website or read this book. Although I'm sure there are lots of online resources and books that would help, many of which I've spoken about on the channel. But ultimately, this is a, a case where mental health professionals need to intervene. If you are not in control, if your negative emotions are so overwhelming that they are impacting on your quality of life. That is where mental health professionals need to be able to step in and listen to you and give you the help that you need. So that's really the first port of call and nothing that I say can be anywhere near as important as their intervention. That said, I obviously do, again, relate to your feelings. And I actually did a video three years ago. The thumbnail will be shown if Tibor is feeling gracious. The theme there is, do ex-Jehovah's Witnesses have anger issues? I argued that yes, they do. And yes, they should have anger issues. If someone hurts you, if someone causes you pain or even abuses you it's perfectly normal to feel angry about that that's what anger is for we have our emotions for a reason and anger in particular serves the purpose of helping us to get out of negative or harmful or toxic situations it's totally normal to be feeling the way you're feeling for me, it's not a question, and I think I said this in the video three years ago, but I might as well say it again. 
for me, it's not a question of whether ex-Jehovah's Witnesses have anger or not. And you can imagine that this is a very easy criticism to be leveled at ex-Jehovah's Witnesses or apostates by the organization. Oh, they're just angry and resentful. You shouldn't listen to what they have to say because they're overwhelmed by their emotions. Of course we're overwhelmed by our emotions due to what you've done to us. It's very, very easy to dismiss someone just because they're feeling angry about something. But the question is, is the anger justified? Yes, it is. Your anger is justified. The question then becomes, as far as I'm concerned, what do you do with your anger? Because let's say someone assaults you in the street. You're just walking along the street and some random person assaults you. Now, there are a number of options available. It could be that the only thing that you can do is physically defend yourself. That's what, you know, in most situations you would need to do. But let's say, hypothetically speaking, you knew that there was a police officer just around the corner. So you then have the option of rather than assaulting the person back, you have the option of immediately grabbing the police officer, letting him or her know what's happened and asking for witnesses so that they can corroborate what's happened maybe asking for help in performing some kind of citizen's arrest until the police officer gets there. I don't know. But anger can be channeled into a positive reaction. And I'm very fond of the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Now, I think it's a bit of a cliche, and it almost suggests sometimes that Anything negative that happens to you can be turned into a net positive. That's not how I interpret it. I just think that we're always going to have bad things happen to us. It's not a question of whether bad things happen to us or whether things anger us or not. It's a question of how do we respond? Can we channel our emotional energy into doing something positive and productive? Or will it eat away at us and make us do things that we regret or things that harm our mental health further by eating into our self-esteem, by making us think, I'm a bad person because I should have reacted this way and instead I reacted that way. So never ever feel resentful towards yourself when it comes to these feelings of anger. Again, they're very normal. And the truth is the organization has stolen time from you. It's stolen months, years, decades of time, depending on how long you were in the organization. But now that that's happened, what are we going to do? Are we going to move on in a meaningful way? Are we going to address our mental health? Are we going to heal ourselves? Are we going to give ourselves the mental tools so that we can emotionally no longer be enslaved by the indoctrination? Are we going to make resources available for others if we're strong enough to do so? Or are we just going to let anger consume us to the point where we start doing detrimental things? To the point where we start confronting Jehovah's Witnesses on the street and making them feel miserable, even though they're just indoctrinated cult followers who aren't really in possession of their mental faculties, if we're being honest. So bottom line, please don't feel bad that you feel angry. It's completely normal. Please do seek out mental health resources. Those are the primary resources you should be thinking about in your situation. 
And ultimately, I hope you find a way of taking this terrible situation and finding a way to grow, to outgrow this and use your experience to maybe even help other people, which seems to be the mindset that you're already in based on what you were saying. So thank you so much for leaving your voicemail. If you would like to leave a voicemail, the thing to do is go to speakpipe.com forward slash cedars, remembering to indicate clearly if you don't want me to play your message on my channel. But that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.